Our next guest has written a novel about what would happen if life as we know it was suddenly coming to an end. Well, the novel features plenty of humor. It is based on a catastrophic event. Author Ken Kilner is right here right now to tell us about his novel, also has a book signing coming up. And Ken, thanks for being with us on the 4 o'clock show. I was reading the jacket, which just provides kind of a synopsis, and you, my friend, have a vivid imagination. Well, that's so on what it says. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that sounds wild. Okay, the year is 2026. Yes. Uh -huh. And just kind of without giving away too much, because people mm -hmm. are going to want to rush out and buy the book, kind of set the stage for us. Well, the year is 2026, and I, I think, as everyone knows by now, uh, Yellowstone National Park is, in fact, a supervolcano that is dormant. And uh, the plot of the book is, I mean, 2026, a young air traffic controller in Seattle is warned that the park is about to erupt within a few months. And that would create havoc. What that would create, and this is perhaps uh, a modest forecast, is a 500-mile radius of destruction. Almost like an atomic bomb, really. Many atomic bombs, yeah. as a matter of fact, yeah. Okay. So, and then you have your character, your protagonist, your mm -hmm. hero. Yes, right. What he's doing is he's looking for 40 virgins. Yes. Not easy to do. Difficult, you these point days. out. Not these that I days. have any experience. No, it's that. not that you've actually got out and looked for more. <laughs> no, no. But you decided to put that in the story. Yes. Because he wants to re uh, repropagate the species. He must do that, right? Exactly. To save yes. the future. To save humankind. Yeah. Yes. And uh, how did you come up with all of this? Well, I was driving with my daughter from Philadelphia to Seattle about five, six years ago. And we stopped in Yellowstone. And I was not as entertained as most people. In fact, I was scared. And I did the research and discovered just how dangerous that place is. And then on the way into Seattle, we passed the air traffic control tower at SeaTac Airport. And it kind of and came I together thought, ah, in your head? If there's a place I would like to be wow. when Yellowstone blows, that is it. Now, what did you, why was it important to you? Because it, there, there are humor. You, admit you managed to mix humor into a, what is yeah, really, very as said, a catastrophe. Yeah. Yes. Why was that kind of, is that just kind of your style? Is that just sort I think, of your personality? I think that's, that's a style, but basically, um, this is a real threat. It's a real catastrophe. I just didn't want to overdo it. Mm -hmm. So I thought I would balance it with some humor. Well, it's called Yellowstone 4. And a book signing is coming up at Barnes & Noble, as a matter of fact, this Saturday from 2 until 3 o'clock. You can meet uh, Ken and get him to sign a copy of the book. It's uh, One of our producers was just telling me she read it and loved it. Ken, thanks for joining us on the show. Best of luck to you. Okay? Thank you very much.